Right lads, welcome to EU4 1.34, the Lions of the North uh, DLC. This is going to look a bit different uh, from your current game, I'd imagine. And today we're going to be playing the Teutonic Order and pursuing what inevitably you've seen, the Holy Horde thing. So we can be able to raise provinces and all in the name of, uh, of, of crusading. Uh, we're not going to be turning to Prussia, we're going to be doing something better. And today we're looking at this brand new uh, mission tree, including branching missions. So the way branching missions work, for those of you who don't know, is that uh, you have to fulfill certain conditions. Then events and stuff will pop up, and then you get to pick, and it will unlock different sides of your mission tree. Uh, so, for example, on the one hand you can go for Prussia, on the other hand you can go for the Holy Horde. And we're going to be going for the uh, for the latter. This is perhaps one of the most uh, interesting changes that happened to E4 in a, in a very long time. And I'm very excited to show you all. So, first things first, let us expand our army and also seek the Livonian Alliance. I'll warn you that there's a lot different uh, with this game. Manpower is a lot lower than it was before, so you can no longer sort of just chuck yourself into, into battles willy-nilly. I'm also going to be role-playing this one a little bit more. All right, we're going to go ahead and rival the Poles. We're going to rival the Lithuanians and also, I suppose, Wolgast. Then building up to our force limit. We also need to be improving Austria's opinion of us because then we can join the HRE. Now, there's uh, a lot of... Okay, there's so much going on here. If we join the HRE, there are different options. So we either don't join the HRE, we either join it with uh, restrictions, like we can't attack other members of the HRE, it's purely defensive, or there's no restrictions. And that's sort of just dependent on how Austria feels about us at this point in time. We're going to ally ourselves with the Livonians. I'm really excited that uh, there's not really a meta way of playing this just yet. Uh, and, and we'll have to find out. Uh, also, there are so many new government reforms. Like, so many for everyone. But enough freaking out uh, about this game. I should probably unpause. All right, who do we want as our... Uh... Oh, let fate decide. Let's do it. <laughs> Dude, fate is horrible. <laughs> I'm tempted to restart. That's my first error of this new patch. My first one. Right, to handle the confederation, because we need to stop this from happening. Because remember, if I don't do this, then the Prussians will rise up and... Uh, well, Danzig will rise up and it will destroy us. So, all of the following must be true. Stability at least one. Land has to be at least 40. Damn, that's a lot of things. Sweden wants me to support their independence. Uh, I don't really want to be involved in a war like that. So I'm going to accept it to make you disloyal. So we'll grab ourselves a military advisor, even though he's a bit trash right now, just to get this mission. Shock damage received, minus 10%. I do like that. Feet Poland. Okay. Right, we're doing a lot of stuff here. Situation in Teutonic Order, here we go. The Teutonic Order, an order of noble German Germanic knights, was established on the Baltic coast. So, one is about the Prussian path and one is the Crusader path. Obviously, we are going to be doing the Crusader path. So this will happen in 1450, I've got to stop that. Right, I've hired a Diplo rep guy because I'm going to click this button and it says the highest, the higher diplomatic reputation, the more likely it is. So we get them as a vassal. It's good to see. 25 years, Gili army tradition and manpower recovery speed. And now we just need to click this button. Seek Imperial Protection. So if we could get like 25 years of morale of armies plus 5%. Or we become under the Holy Roman Empire. I'm gonna I'm gonna go bah! We are the Teutonic Order. We can handle them ourselves. I like that idea. Alright, that makes Austria hate us, but that's fine. We do it alone. Because apparently I can't have nice things. Muscovy announced us as our rival. Okay. I was kind of hoping on the, the, to help me uh, fight the uh, the poles here, but apparently not. Allied Hungarians. We're going to click these buttons just because I like clicking buttons. I wonder, is it still possible to get around the Prussian Confederation thing by releasing Danzig? Okay, so defeat Poland. Four provinces owned by us. I think all we have to beat them in three battles. Done everything that I can do. When's our truce? Damn, we got another like three years, okay. I was a bit early with this one then. I'm going to sit here and suck up money. Who else are you rival to? The Bohemians, bring those guys in here. Do you have any claims at all? You have a claim on Novgorod. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Just gonna make sure that the Russians get, well, the Muscovites get as little of this as possible. Denmark's declared on them. Did you not go for it? Did. I'm gonna deck on them soon though, because uh, so we have 5% discipline, we have all this sort of stuff. Cavalry combat ability, I should probably build some cavalry. And we have our bonuses to morale and such. I think when I get the next tech, tech four, I'll have to go for them. Uh, obviously once the truce has ended. All right, let's stop paying our troops. That was a bad time to stop paying our troops. That was a. I don't think it the month tick though, so we should be fine. Yep. Okay, we're good. Well, unfortunately, we don't get this province, which I'd really enjoy. Oh, that's like an excellent time to declare war. They've trapped the entire Danish army on the eastern side. How good's your ruler? All right, coalition. But we get money. Do I take it for myself or do I hand it off? I'm taking it for myself. Realistically, is is what I need to do. Teutonic Russia. That was that's made a lot of people unhappy. Gives us more forts to confront the uh, the poles with. They really sat me. Nice. <laughs> Good job, boys. I'm going to go ahead and curry favors with both of these guys. 
Let's see, what do you want? Those areas, that's fine. You have strategic interest in my land. Come on, man. Ah, I see he's not, he's not backing down. He thinks it's a province of strategic utility, despite the fact that I've also claimed it. And it's, you know, my province. <laughs> Don't know how to get around this. I haven't experimented enough. This is literally like my first playthrough. Okay, what's going on down here? You've attacked Albanian Axis and, and Epirus and you're getting your ass kicked. Nice. Oh, wow, okay. What's going on here? Mission protection. Missionaries, fort defense, and prestige per development. Nice. Commercial mission, merchants, and global trade. Nice. Yearly devotion. It's okay. Missions on the high seas. Not going to help us. Civilize. Excel the mission. Manpower recovery speed. And tolerance of the truth faith. I like this uh, extra merchant. We're going to go for that. Because uh, the Baltic Sea is a decent trade node. Okay, I've got to think here because I know what happens here, right? I've played this one before. Okay, so we get 0.25 favors per month. So I need to, I think, I think if I declare war on the Poles, they won't be able to join the defensive war with the uh, Prussian Confederation that rises up, right? That's my thought process. So if I'm at war with them, I still have to fight the Prussians, but I can fight on my own terms, I think. But this is going to be tight. I have no idea if I'm right in this or not. Everyone would come in. It's a close fight. I guess we do it. <laughs> oh, it's the most twisted logic I've ever come up with. Yeah, they should be trapped down there. That's sort of why I did this. I'm hoping that you are... Okay, he didn't get... If Hungary got Moldavia, this would be done. Because they'd be trapped in there. They're not. They're already in pest. Okay, Miltech 3, Miltech 3, Miltech 3, Miltech 3. I'm the only person on Miltech 4. All right, we've got to get ready for this. <laughs> you, you guys you guys do you, yeah? i got someone i got to deal with. Here we go. Huh. Okay, interesting. That's not what I was expecting. I've got to curtail it. They said something about there was an, a, an event for it? Concede. All right. All right. I reloaded just because I want to read this properly. <laughs> I clicked it too fast. So this, the decision curtail the Prussian con Confederation is, is available and there's the estate privilege. Okay. So there's no, like, war. So I've declared this war quite prematurely, you might, you might think. Can't see the decision to curtail them. Okay. Incompetent diplomacy. Wonderful. And a stack wipe. Oh, boys. It's the return of the stack wipe. How long has it been since we had one of those? God. If I can siege down another province, I should be able to get Brandenburg out of here. Negative 10. Ugh. Right, this should be sufficient, to be honest, to, to get him out of here. I gotta love the work the Livonians are putting in here. I don't know what's going on where the Polish army is. I haven't actually fought it. None of us have fought it. They're just down here, chilling. But they're fighting the uh, Wallachians, who apparently have resorted to guerrilla warfare to hold them off. Right, Brandenburg is on low. We've got 24%. That should be enough to get rid of this. Give me war operations and I suppose some ducats. Even though I'm going to get nothing from it. Okay, well, they won their war down there, but I don't think it's going to help them too much. All right, I'm going to spread out as far as I can. Siege down as much as possible in Lithuania. Because here come the Poles, but they're trapped in by these forts. Oh my god, I'm a tactical genius. Saw the opportunity and I went for it, lads. That's what this game's all about. All right, is there anything specific I need? I need four provinces, currently one, in this area. Okay, well, I'll do that. Those are four provinces. Well, actually, I, I only need those three. And that's just defeat Poland. And that gives me 25 power projection and gives me the future of the Chitonic Does that unlocks our mission tree? Okay. Uh, key part is I need to lock them down. That works for me. I need to take as much as possible to try and hurt them. I don't know if it's a good idea to take this area. Instead, it might be better to just sort of focus on Poland itself and then weaken them in the hopes that the other ones then, I don't know, suffer. Ah, I don't want to give land to the Bohemian, which I almost did, which wouldn't have been good. In which case, this is the best piece that I can get. Seems ill-advised. Oh, no, they're, they are actually fighting them. Wow. Um, Jesus. Okay. How have you done that then? Did you get tech four? Oh, you did. You did. Go on, the Bohemians. Look at them. They're tearing through. Oh, wonderful. That might even be enough. It is. Okay, so I take a bunch of provinces, uh, link up my lands, my old coalition. That's good to me. Excellent. Look at that. The Teutons grow ever stronger. And now we click defeat Poland. And that unlocks the rest of our thing. So we can either go down Prussia, which is, you know, everyone can do Prussia. Or we will not be able to form Prussia. We gain a bunch of permanent claims. And we need to continue our crusade, this time against the heretics. Although our order managed to defeat Poland, it is clear that our state has no clear direction anymore, no driving goal. When we settled in this land, our path was clear, the Christianization of the Baltic tribes. We were successful with this, but we never asked ourselves what shall happen afterwards. This aimlessness made us weak and decadent. We must find a purpose again, or otherwise we are doomed to become a mere subject of one of our neighbors. Bang. And we immediately get to fulfill this mission, grant clergy privileges, which gives us the issue, the Anti-Heresy Act, as well as a bunch of claims. Let's go check out what that does. All right, Anti-Heresy Act. Mission strength again... Uh, Versus heretic. That looks cool. 
Still no destroy the Prussian Confederation mission. That sucks. <laughs> I don't know how that works. Okay. Has won at least 20 battles. And that gives us army tradition until the end of the game. Cavalry infantry ratio. Lovely. Okay, we're going to go full cav. 20 provinces and we get permanent claims on Ruthenia. Zeal of the Crusaders. Nice. Annex Lithuania. Five provinces in that region. And we get more claims and more zeal. Conquest of Novgorod. We need never. And what's this? All of the provinces must be true. Okay, we need a couple more provinces around here. So we need to fight Muscovy. Okay, that's going to be pretty tricky. So we have to basically fight Poland, Lithuania, and Muscovy. I think I'm fine with fighting Poland again. I'm in decent shape for it. I'm losing a lot of money. It's like France took a chunk out of Provence and so did Burgundy. Interesting. Okay. Tunis! Tunis is having a good game! Oh my god! It never happens! The new patch is the best patch! Also, the Byzantines and 54 are still alive. <laughs> Looks like Venice lost Corfu, but other than that, also the Byzantines have, have secured roads. <laughs> Wonderful. How are you doing, Gotland? A republic? Not a pirate republic, I hope. All right, he's tech three still. I'd love for the Prussian Confederation to rise up right now. I just don't see myself getting 40% crown lap. So we're just going to have to sit here and wait. Because the burgers are still loyal. <laughs> just, just mildly annoyed. So keep over alliance. We need to be allied with the papal state. I don't know how I'm going to do that. So do you want an alliance? Uh, actually, not, not too far off. Also, I'm a little bit confused because here it says... Conquest in Novgorod. Religion in Novgorod is... Oh, okay. The province owner has to be Catholic, not the actual province itself. Sweet. And so we just need two more provinces. So if we take one from... Yeah, it has to be one from Novgorod and one from Skov, I think. Then we need to kill the federal. This is a, an ambitious tree. Resist the Reformation. Gonna have to do that. Defeat the Ottomans. Nice. Crusader steps. That's what we need to happen. Hmm. I can take Never. They're guaranteed by Sweden. That would actually... That would... I think that would fulfill this. Yeah, because I can take Vyborg. I just need to take Never off him. That gives me permanent claims and more government reform progress, which is going to be very useful because they're quite powerful uh, modifiers this time around. Like I'll have idea cost, institution spread, or mission strength plus two, straight off the bat, and maintenance plus percent Obviously, we're going to go for that. Ah, I can ally the Pope. Nice. Does that fulfill my mission? Nope. I have to have an active cardinal or two of these modifiers. So I need 100 papal influence. Gives an inquisitor, and then I have to complete religious or divine ideas. Gain up to two admin. Damn. I'll take it. I do like the idea of taking divine ideas, though. Manpower and true faith promises. That's kind of important, given the nerve to manpower. The bishop's needle. I mean, we don't need the devotion. I think I'll take the 10 autonomy just so I can call more provinces. Because <laughs> we're starving for admin right now. Huh. Our battles against the pagan Lithuanians in the last century attracted many great knights from Western Europe. Awesome. Oh, it's, it's the uh, jousting tournament, but for us. For many, the time of crusading military orders is coming to an end, and we can see it as a relic of the past era. But for now, for one last time, let us call the Knights of Europe to their last race. Nice. Lose 100 admin. Oh. We gain 15 army tradition, I suppose. And we also gain a stability. Okay, when's our truce up? 64. Six years, and then we go to war with Novgorod. Take one province, vassalize them. Take Vyborg as well. I'll get around the Scottish and English alliance. And then we'll turn around and fight the Poles once more. Our armies that have been defeated several times in the last Polish Teutonic Wars. Damn it! <laughs> Basically, win more. Oh, rebels count towards that, apparently. Nice. Form the army. To the end of the game, another 10% cavalry to infantry ratio. Okay, I see. I'm starting to see where this is going. Each time, we get more... Oh, my God. More true army tradition and you more cavalry to infantry ratio. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Mounted Crusader army. I I'm starting to see where this is going, Chief. Oh, I'm very excited for this. You won't give me military access, a shame. I wanted to nip in and kill his uh, rebels. Grab a government reform, I think. Average monarch lifetime plus 20%. I do not want that. Advisor costs, oh, we're going to have to go for mystery strength, aren't we? Right, here it is. Prussian Confederation revolts. Click this. They're not going to rise up against us because they already have. Now, we're going to ask these two to prepare for war. Then we're going to kill every last traitor, which should bring in the Poles. And we're going to call in, okay, one of them. One of favors. How many favors do I have with you? All right, did he call in the polls? Here come the polls. All right, so it's just going to be us. That's okay. All right, we got ourselves a 2-4. We actually have the numbers. Let's see the Danzig. Oh, God. Okay, let's win that and let's, uh, let's, let's travel back here. Fortunately, they are still Miltech 4. We are Miltech 5. Hungary will come in. We have the favors for it. Let's make life a little bit easier, shall we? Call in the Hungarians. Um, we, that costs us 20 favors with both of them uh, to do this. But it means that... Well, we're, we're okay for now. Like, we're going to win this war. They're a co-belligerent, so I kind of want to just, like, smash them. But this was my general idea. I want to fight Poland as much as possible. All right, King's dead. Now we have a 0-1-2. Let's get paid. 4-0-5, Heinrich. Now, how many battles? We've done six. We need a couple more than that. 
There's seven. Each of these count as little ones. No, get out of the way. Hungry, no. Oh, oh, did I get involved in that one? I don't think I did. Right. Here's another battle. Stack wipe. Jesus Christ. Just hunting for troops now. Come here, I need to learn how to, how, to, how to beat you in a war by beating you in a war. Ah. There's another one. What are we on? We're on ten. Ten more. How many men you got left, Poland? I need all of them. Oh, there's one. Oh, I'm like the USA when they see oil. Oh. Twelve. Might even be able to do it in this war, you know. Go, 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 go. He's around here somewhere. I can smell him. I appreciate you throwing that battle so I can fight more armies. It's very good of you. Oh, look at them all stacked up like this. Let's train the armies, boys. Moscow declared war in Lithuania. That does help. Uh, 15 out of 25 more. I don't think there are any troops left. Okay, I think those are all the battles we're going to get out of this. All right, Poland. Going to need money. War operations. Humiliate, I suppose. You took land off Crimea? Wait, does Crimea start with cause here? Oh, cool. Okay, that's new. Yeah, that looks good to me. Excellent. 160 bucks. There we go. And our lands are now reunited. I get Miltech 6 and he's still on Miltech 4. We're going for him. There's Miltech 6 for us. Oh my god. It's going up. My army tradition is going up. No, nope. Burgundy shall remain Burgund Burgundy. That's good. I'd like to see that. What else we got over there? Slow game for the Ottomans. I want to poke them enough that the Polish Lithuanians can actually get a hold of themselves a little bit. Let's do it. Riga, I'm here to help, buddy. Yeah, our troops are so much better than that. It's a stack wipe. And also, we've just killed some rebels. That's nice. Oh, there are some troops. And, well, there were some troops. God, it's so nice to have stack wipes back. I just want to say I'm having so much fun with this. It is insane. Also, it definitely feels like they've improved the AI. Like, by a lot. Like, my vassals are actually doing smart things. I mean, right now he's not. But, he, you know, he's usually doing smart things. Yeah, there we go. Teutonic victories. Several battles won in the Knights of Teutonic Order Triumph. So that gives us army professionalism and military power. Wonderful. This gives us coverage to infantry ratio and more army tradition. Wonderful. Look, Poland. We need 12 provinces in that region. Uh, we'll get there. That gives us a bunch. We've got 70 army tradition now. Right, let's roll two generals. That's one. That's two. We've got a 5 1. These all kind of, these, these all kind of suck. 3 3 and a 5 2. Get rid of the 5 1 then. Try to siege guy. Uh, get rid of the 5 2. Go take out. Below zero, as Red Hawk calls it. Okay, four zero five. We didn't have that zero whatever it was for a while, which is nice. Three three three. Heinrich, another Heinrich. God, the stack wipes are back, and it feels so good. Okay, what do I even want from this wall? I, I didn't, didn't think about this. Uh, conquest of Novgorod. So we need. I mean, we'll take these two. Uh, I need money. Oh, thousand luck. That's lovely. Uh, we'll grab ourselves the war operations as well, and then this four to third Rome, and then I need Moscow, and that gives us the fate of Moscow. Let's do that then. I'll take these two for continuity. That'll be it. Go out of this lot. And go. I think that should be enough, actually. Yep, 100%. Okay. We take Moscow. We do this. We get loads of ducats. It's all looking good. Poland has claims on, well, everything that I touch, apparently. <laughs> Lubeck! Lubeck! I've never seen that! Lubeck are expanding! I'm very excited by this! What?! Ticola takes land in Scotland? And so it all start? Oh my god, people are actually expanding. I love it. I'm used to seeing these things. All right, paid off all our loans, and now we can build a bunch of churches and also get rid of our mercenaries. What do I say to that? Mercenaries. Mercenaries! Okay, I need Admin Tech 4. I, I do not have that. I need to make sure I'm focusing Admin. Or at least I'll grab her and advise it. Ah! Gain 50 of each, or we renew our relations with Lubeck, which gives us, like, maintenance for the next little while. I'd love to do that, but it doesn't make sense, because I need the power. But... They're pretty cool. Don't have the uh, relation slots for it. Ah, screw it. It sounds like fun. Welcome to the team. Welcome to the Baltic boys, boys. That doesn't make sense. Welcome to the Baltic boys, boys. Dude, that's crazy. Uh, I have this this thing. It's uh, I can't not attend. It'd be rude. Yeah, you get it. Guess that solves our uh, relations limit thing. A two one. I'm sorry. I've got seventy five army tradition, and I whip out a two one. Let's grab another general. Two, three, what? <laughs> Jesus Christ. The hunger is getting ravaged. We're gonna have a very strong Ottomans this game. I'd say there's nothing I could do about it, but I mean, I, I could have could have done a lot. I just didn't. Hey, faceting. We've got it in uh, in Danzig. Got a lot of some gems. Now, in order to get this thing, Secure Paper Alliance, I need two modifiers. So let's grab those. We're gonna grab ourselves the tax. I love the annex as well. But we will grab ourselves manpower recovery speed. That gives us this. 75% cheaper. 
Inquisitor should allow us to take out Moscow pretty soon. <laughs> hey, Ottomans, how you doing, bud? Well, this seems convenient. The game just runs faster, like a lot faster. I was talking to some of the guys uh, at PDXCon, and they were they were very excited by how fast the game ran. I mean, Flory with his um, he did uh, a challenge where you had to get the highest uh, naval force limit possible as Gotland in an hour, and he got up to like 1532. Or 23, something like that. Alright, we're gonna force religion on you and we're also gonna make you my vassal. Which gives us the conquest of Novgorod. Because, uh, remember, they, uh, all they had to do was be, uh, be Catholic. So, it gives 100 government reform. Fall of Third Rome. Fate of Moscow. Due to the constant decline of the petty Byzantine Empire, the city of Moscow has become somewhat of a religious center for the Orthodox faith. So, we either, we loot the city. <laughs> it's ours. Why would we do that? Another suggestion was to repurpose the churches instead and convert the people to Catholicism. Finally, is to integrate the Russians into our state. So we repurpose them, and they just immediately become Catholic. We integrate them, which means huge uh, bonuses to the production, lose the devastation, get Muscovites accepted culture, but on the flip side, it means that we can't convert them. Or we just burn them. I reckon we just convert them. Uh, it feels more roleplay to do that. To be honest, the first option is the best option, easily. But that doesn't make sense with roleplay wise, does it? Alright, we're going roleplay. Alright, what do we have here? Maintain balance of power, which gives all of our states loyalty plus five. Expand temple rights. Mm, it's okay. Temples and cathedrals give the province plus 33% national tax modifier, that local tax modifier, and minus two local unrest. What does it currently do? Plus 40. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> Curtail noble privileges. Seizing land does not trigger religious rebels. That's kind of cool. Lands for the church. We could be basically the Pope's lapdog. Screw it. We're going church lapdog. <laughs> It's the least, my least favorite one, but it makes the most sense. We don't actually have any cardinals. <gasps> we do. Invest. Oh, I'm the Curia controller. Didn't even see. Wonderful. Can I just communicate you, please, please, please? Oh. The Pale States have too good of an opinion of them. I can reduce their, the, the, the Pale State opinion of them, I think, if I have the favors. Uh, in the meantime, can I have, uh, can I have some soldiers? <laughs> Hungary that I abandoned, thank you. All right, let's reduce your opinion of Poland. And now I can excommunicate Poland, <laughs> which gives me a load of uh, planes on them when this thing's up. <laughs> Lessened aggressive expansion and on the payable controller, so I get even less. Aggressive expansion impact minus 20% and a further percent. Oh my god, I'm, I am a genius. Honestly, I'm, I scare myself sometimes. Now we should give the excommunicated uh, ruler. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. Pretty sure, doesn't that excommunicate you as well? It does. Okay, so do I want to focus on taking Lithuanian stuff? Because I don't know if this will carry over to Poland. It should do. But I don't know if it would. Yeah, Annex Lithuania. What does that give me? Uh, Zeal of the Crusades. That's kind of useful. And Conquering Poland does the same thing. I only need eight provinces from that. Then we go down the plains. So we'll go after Poland. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we can take all of their border provinces. I have to wait for the Bohemians though. Okay, Lithuania is disloyal. That means I should just be going for this. Let's take them out. And hopefully win the siege first time. Fine, second time. Third time? They're just ready for me to cross the border. I'm not sure the Poles have any troops left. Oh, they got some. Oh, they had some. <laughs> are you loyal now? No, so why are you desieging that land? Unless that was just a ploy. In which case the AI is way more advanced than it has ever any right to be. So they are, they're coming for me. Oh my god, I've been tricked by the AI. Can I get out of this war now? I have your land completely occupied. All right, it's time for Late's unpopular opinion. Uh, I think that, uh, and it's not just because it's convenient for me right now, I think that a nation that has over 50% liberty desire shouldn't count towards the war score, because it doesn't make sense. I enjoy the stalemates going on here. Um, not because it's difficult at all, uh, but because Bohemia's decided it doesn't want to participate. Because allies are there. All right, let's grab ourselves some divine ideas, boys. All right, now we're going to take this aggressive expansion back thing first, which gives us, what is it? So it's 50% because it's excommunication, minus 20% because uh, we're the Curia controller, and also minus 10% because of that idea. So that's great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Damn it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're all Catholic. Take the money, and that should be the mission complete. Conquer Poland. 
get a bunch of manpower, army tradition, and permanent claims, as well as Zeal of the Crusaders. So for 25 years, we get uh, an increased amount of mystery strength. Also, it made Poland look stupid. <laughs> oh, they got a new monarch. Maybe oh, too good, man. Let me target the senior partner. Well, well. <laughs> oh, great. Stability. If anyone says karma, I'm going to be very upset. They've abandoned them. Interesting. It's good for us. All right, we get another one. Some servient bureaucrats. That's pretty good. Yearly corruption. Zealous administrators. Stability cost. Eh, it's okay. Divine ability. Yearly army tradition. Even more. Oh my god. What's, what, I mean, what's my army tradition currently? 95. And we can get another, what? 0.25 a year? That's filth. <laughs> All monastic breweries. Which gives us good produced and production grain and stuff. I mean, hell, all of these are good. I think I'm gonna have to go with probably the weakest one, in my opinion, just because roleplay. <laughs> all right, well, the truce is up, which means we gotta fight him. Uh, fortunately, we have ourselves a little vassal. Drop the three siege, chuck you in there. I wanna be a bit methodical about this, considering our lack of manpower. What's his miltech? Six, our miltech is seven. To be fair, the difference between six and seven is not that large. Nope, oh, one's dead, three, three, three in charge. Go for a foreign noble. God, he sucks. No, don't murder my friends. Don't murder my friends. All right, we kept them alive. We got some Mazovians we need to go and deal with soon. Well, I'll send an army down there. Apparently, we have Circassians to deal with as well. Oh, no, we lost paper controller. We probably didn't invest at all into it. We'll grab ourselves uh, some more armies, though. Uh, also, I want, him, I want to annex the Livonian order. And so before I forget, let's get ourselves that. Too many military leaders, you say. Let's march in, everyone. And murder those troops. 72. I've got to decide what I actually want to do from this war. I've got to start heading over east, don't I? So, we might as well get aboard with them. Ah, 10 years of national man manpower modifier being reduced in return for mercenary manpower. Not exactly what we want. Right, I think this is the piece that we want. I'd rather have some money than those. Take back the cores. A couple of provinces to Novgorod. Get access to... Oh, actually, I kind of want, kind of want Ryazan or Tula. There we go. Access to the Great Horde and, uh, and uh, Kazan. Split Muscovy into three. <laughs> As it should have been. Also, I'm kind of scared by, uh, like, what I'm seeing about the Timurids. Uh, if I try to attack the Great Horde, it says they've got 87,000 troops in total. Looks like the Timurids have, yeah, the Timurids have 60,000. They've definitely managed to unify the land. That's horrifying. Uh, increase our income. I didn't even see this. Let's do that. Castle expertise. So we get, is that until the end of the game? For 100 years! Attrition for enemies, fort defense, all that other good stuff. God damn. All right, let's annex you. Grab ourselves 10% morale of armies. Divine ideas are kind of meh. They're not great. I'm doing it for the for the roleplay, to be honest. Also, for those of you who didn't know, uh, quantity ideas has been nerfed. <laughs> All right, new idea group. I'm tempted to double down. Religious divine? <laughs> Sounds pretty funny to me. Oh, wielders of the flaming sword. Morale of armies damage. Uh, shock damage plus 5% and morale of armies plus 5%. That's insane. Just for the name alone, I'm doing it. Oh, there's our truce with Poland. He's still excommunicated, so uh, we'll go ahead and uh, take that land. I do want to go and blitz Vilnius first, though. Ooh, uh, that's a lot more troops than I was expecting. Oh, good lord. Okay. Just some random troops rising up, why not? Alright, there goes the Lithuanians. I've gotten this through and all their treaties with Hungary, and that should mean that we're back in six years' time to take their stuff. Yeah, the Ottomans are going to be a powerhouse this game. Yeah, they've taken offensive ideas as well. Uh, the issue with that is offensive ideas end with 15%. Well, it's only 15%, I suppose, nowadays, but it's still dangerous. And we've annexed the Livonians. Oh, they've unconditional to me. Well, we could try cutting off the Ottomans a little bit. There we go. I mean, Poland's pretty much dead now. And we have a board with the Ottomans. <laughs> Hooray. I don't like the fact that these areas have absolutely zero forts. Crimea declared one little. Oh, no. The Ottomans uh, are taking out the states as well. The Ottomans have attacked Hungary. They are terrifying. I'm going to lie to you. didn't really plan on fighting uh, the Great Horde. I just saw that the uh, Timurids wouldn't get involved. And now we're here. Ah, <laughs> oh, stack wipes. I've missed you so much. Alright, take out the Great Horde. I'm going to go ahead and release... Where are you? Astrakhan. And I'm going to give him these provinces up here, I think. In fact, if we just control it directly, I don't think these two provinces matter. Oh, you know what? I don't care. I'm just going to just gonna take it. Direct control, boys. God, Emirati and Georgia, just sort out the borders, lads. 
Sort out who gets what. I think you both have cores on everything. <laughs> There's the piece. Muscovy gave land to Lithuania. Oh, that's got to be embarrassing. They have been a permanent war for a god, like god knows how long. That's incredible. Have you done that one then, Lithuania? I'll have to fight my boy Riga. But if I have to, I have to. God, this constant warfare is kind of sickening. <gasps> There's no limit to how many... Oh, that's incredible. You could do more than a few things. That's so good. Oh, I don't know why it took me so long to realize that. Expansion Zealotry. Oh, there's always more spaces. We're going to grab ourselves the uh, Anti-Heresy Act. All right, Riga, thanks for, for playing. A bit disconcerting. I think I've been playing for too long because my I can hear my heartbeat in my right eardrum. <laughs> That's terrifying. Uh, we're going to start Golden Era. Why not? And get character infantry ratio in preparation. Although, to be fair, that probably isn't going to last too long. Get ourselves infantry combat ability. And national unrest minus two. Not gonna lie, this has just been absolute conquest. I mean, I've actually just curled round Lithuania round to the other side. I'd love for the Bohemians to do anything. They sat there. Since that war with uh, Hungary, they've just sort of sat there. There's 18k, they've not moved. Do I just have claims on... I have claims on the entirety of Lithuania. Okay. 25 provinces. Okay, alright, well. Let's cut them off from the Ottomans and from you. I'm gonna form a little circle of love. Oh. <laughs> We're not too far away from an extra mystery strength, which would be very useful. There's manpower from truth faith provinces and more mystery strength and... Uh, right. 99%. That's everything we need. And we have enveloped Lithuania. Now, I'm going to do a smaller form of raising where I'm just going to concentrate development. Because I need these costs to go down because my governing capacity is not built for this. Manpower and truth faith provinces plus 20%. Yes, please. And uh, we have quite a few of those. And we get another two mission strength once we complete this. We are going to be a little bit behind on our mill tech, though. Is that our truce done? It is. Let's move in. This is the most conquest focused I've been in a very long time. <laughs> As in, like, really trying to uh, min-max some things. I've been quiet for a, a long time. Uh, so there's not probably not going to be much footage here. <laughs> we, only, we didn't take enough promises. Oh, I did not realize that. Found churches, though. That's nice. Hippal influence. Warned by the Ottomans, but I'm pretty sure we don't really need to fight anyone he's bordering. That's okay. At least just to keep us off of Hungary. There we go. And more conversions on the way. Let's go deal with our rebels as well. The good thing is, Novgorod has religious ideas. So if I can just keep subsidizing them, I think they'll just keep on trying to convert provinces, you'd assume. Uh, I'm going to give them subsidies. Give them like two ducats a month. Or like a one and a half. That should be enough. Yeah, he just converted the Atka. Le excellent. I think he has... Is he fully Catholic? Brilliant. I can just give him a bunch of territory then. Lads, if you don't like Border Gore, uh, you're not going to like what I'm doing over here. My little special project. And now we'll prep for war against Muscovy, I suppose. Let's grab ourselves another one here. Mystery Mason cost minus 50%. Quite a decent little idea, that. What do we get at the end? Obviously, we get the Deus Vault. Cast a spell out, which would be quite useful. All right, we've declared on the Muscovites. Pretty standard war. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty easy. It's the most stable, unstable state I've been a part of. Like we never have any manpower, and we're constantly having rebels, but I don't feel too much pressure from it. Okay, those two are part of the Eurothenian planes. What else is it? Then it's just this lot, and the rest of that stuff, the, the, I don't actually need it for missions. The rest of Muscovy. So that province and these two provinces. So these two, and apparently this one. Alright, and then 1522. We fight the Lithuanians. There we go. Anything we can't call, we convert. It's not the prettiest of borders, to be fair. Oh, God, he's dead already. Lottery, 133. <laughs> They're all called Heinrich. Oh, and he's a sinner. Jesus, the worst possible thing we could have had. I want to point out that uh, there's no reformation yet, either. This should be soon. All right, we're going to march on the Great Horde again. And I don't know if we can get to Uzbek. That also means they can't get to us. And there's religious ideas completed, which means we can unlock Wield of the Flaming Sword, which is just badass. And we also get the Deus Vault Castus Bellow, which I probably should have waited for. Yeah, there's no way I can beat the Ottomans. Absolutely no way. <laughs> We're gonna have to try and outgrow them first. Okay, my own tradition, sorry, is 86 and I just rolled general. Where is he? Go on, show it to me. It's a 3-1. I don't know why he's not showing up on the list here. Oh no, it's bugging. It's bugging. There's our truce to Crimea. We're gonna show his priority. We've now got Theodoro as a tributary state. <laughs> sure. <laughs> that makes sense. They give us gold. Now give me manpower. See, we're becoming more horde-like by the day. Okay, I really can't miss this war against uh, Lithuania. It would be very, very bad. Because otherwise they'll join a coalition against me. 
Alright, uh, finally pieced out with them, and that means that we can have our way with the Great Horde. Just sitting there waiting for them to get bored. I suppose I don't really need to head down there. I'm happy just to have them as tributaries, I suppose. Just give me a manpower player here and we're good. Oh, uh, I need to concentrate development. A little bit. Yeah, I just realized Ashra Khan's probably the most useful, useless uh, vassal I've ever had. Gave me a reason to declare war, I suppose, but beyond that, not, not great. I just took it for myself because I realized that he wouldn't convert it. Novgorod's been doing a great job. How close am I to Christianizing the steps? I need seven more provinces, which will get done here. Um, I need to annex Lithuania. Ruthenian Plains. How many more do I need for that? Like nine more provinces. Eliminate the hordes. That's with five provinces away from that. Uh, Novgorod will finish off those. One, two, three, four. Then we need to fight Kazan again. Then push into the steppes. We need to be in Central Asia. Establish cavalry. We can do that afterwards. And then we can form the horde. Right, our truce is up. Let us take out the Lithuanians and co. Stack with the Regans. Might be able to polish them off here. Will they just come out? Poland looks like they'll just come out immediately. Excellent. I'll use you to get rid of my truce with the Lithuanians. So I might war with now. Pomerania, Riga, Hungary. There's the Hungarian capital over there. Let's go for that first. Oh, what's his name? Zylus's. Zeistus the fifth. And Britain's a thing. And they're losing to the French. There's Riga. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. We basically just eliminated Orthodox. It only exists really in the Balkans. Talk about mending the schism. It's one of the missions, isn't it? Wait, to mend the schism, I just have to... One of the following. Moscow, Neva, Novgorod, and 28... Oh, I just need two more. If I take two more Muscovite provinces, then I just mend the schism. Brilliant. Let's do that. All right, Pomerania. Let's get that going. Oh, there he is. Reformation time, boys. Oh, nice. I can embrace the Counter-Reformation indefinitely. For those of you who don't know, the, the Council of Reformation is a decision you can take that gives you uh, mystery strength bonuses and uh, an extra missionary and stuff. It's meant to be able to, like, okay, you survive this long against the uh, the Reformation, now you can sort of uh, get your provinces back. Uh, there are the Hungarians. Honestly, again, just get rid of your thing with Lithuania. I don't want to break you at all just because of the Ottomans. We'll humiliate you, though. Poland looks... Poland looks different. I've got a stateless society over here. Hey, you come get your boy. <laughs> What the hell is that? Alright, so, Annex Lithuania. One province over there, and then the rest is the Ruthenian Plain. So I need nine in this southern region. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and there's that one. And then for the rest of them, let's just nip away at them. Annex Lithuania. That gives us 150 admin uh, instead of manpower, which sucks because I would have much rather had the manpower. We get Horse of the Steps, which gives us more admin, I suppose. That's good. And movement speed. Now we need the Ruthenian Plains, which we're getting there. And then we can form a Crusader Order. All right, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. This is already going to be one of my longest uh, videos. <laughs> like, we've, got, we've grown substantially in the last hundred years. The issue being the Ottomans have grown even more. We're quite far over our company capacity. All right, I'm going to trade company everything in Ashrakhan, because I'm pretty sure it's all Christian now anyway, Catholic specifically. I'm going to start doing that sort of stuff for other regions once I get my hands on them. We're actually gaining money and manpower for a very for the first time in a very very long time. He actually did ally that little state. You know what? I'm gonna leave him alive. I like him. He's got guts. <laughs> Ottomans are preparing to attack the Timurids. How far do you stretch? My God. Um, what would be good for us? I mean, we've got a decent chunk of manpower. I think the sieges could be quite good. I think we're gonna have to go offensive. Mm, maybe quality could be better. Stat that cavalry combat ability. Because army tradition really shouldn't be an issue for us. So we shouldn't really need the extra pit. We'll go quality. Right, what do we have here? Economical matters. Empower the burgers. Trade efficiency. Daily corruption. Okay. Domestic trade power. Much trade power. That's okay. Institution spread. I like the curtail the burgers one. We're going to be trade company a lot of stuff in the east. How many troops do the Ottomans have now? 164,000. There's no, like, it's, it's death. I've got to wait until cannons and do appropriate cannon stacks. It's the only time I can fight them. I'm not even a kingdom, by the way. I'm currently a duchy. <laughs> right, the Ruthenian Plains. Here we go. We're going to become a crusader order. With the success of achievements of our conquest, yep, the administration of our realm is getting more and more exhausting for the order. It's clear that we're no longer a purely monastic order, which hides in monasteries. We are an order on a holy mission for Catholicism to Eastern Europe. But for our goals, we have to reform uh, our limiting rules of the order. So we either, we're just going to enact it. So that replaces our monastic order with crusader order, which gives us 
1% of uh, mystery strength, it gives us 2.5% discipline and also tradition for battles, which is very, very useful. And more importantly, it, it bumps us up to a kingdom. Uh, so we actually have governing capacity, we're not starving for it. Let's give us claims over here. So one province up here and then the rest over here, and then we need to make sure we're attacking Uzbek as soon as we can. So that's our province up here. And then Central Asia basically as much over here as we can. Uh, I'll take that for myself. That is a, uh, a gold mine, so I'll take that as well. This stuff we'll hand over to Novgorod, and he can take as much of that as he likes. All right, quick separate piece with the Chagatai mean that, means that we can now take the land. All right, I want to convert one of these first. Convert you first. God, look how quick it is. 14.7%. All right, so I need to push into the steps and then establish a great cavalry. We can do that pretty easy. We've got to adapt to the planes. I have at least 25 cavalry. We've got to reform the army for that. Let's see what our troops do to his. <laughs> okay. All right, eliminate the hordes. It's just the mess of claims. Uh, I need to give this to Novgorod. Otherwise, he's, he's cut out. Because I need to give him lands here. And it is a gold mine, unfortunately. But I think it's worth it. I don't really need the gold mine right now. All right, Bashkir is. Looks like I'm going to have to take it first and hand it off. That's fine. Manzaran is now bordering us. They've done very well. Mazandaran. They're all called Heinrich. Everyone is every time. It's like we have two names. Just call him Heinrich. Or oh, Albert. Oh, Albrecht, that's it. We don't know any other names. Oh my god, he died immediately. Another Heinrich. He's a zealot? Hey, now my guy's talking. He's now a discovery mission. Because this guy clearly expands quite far east. Oh, I can just take everything for myself, I suppose. So I need 25 cavalry. And I need generals with traits at least two. Well, all of them died in that last war. I've got one. Actually, no, I do have two. It's just not showing up here. The game's bugged. No! Oh, we can end the schism. But we didn't get... What? Okay. <laughs> nice. Are you now Catholic? Yeah. I need a military advisor with skill 2. And then we can click reform the army, which gives us army tradition as well as cavalry to infantry ratio plus 10%. And now we need just general with two traits. Right, I'm going to go murder the Muscovites to try and get a general trait. <laughs> I need this guy to get a general trait. Alright, let's hire another general. We'll put it on this one. And we're just going to keep fighting the Muscovites until we get a general trait. Alright, go. What? Alright, go. Does he only have 3k? Oh, it's 15k somewhere. All right, don't stack weapon, please. Oh, he has a general trait. Brilliant. Okay, what do I need now? At least 25 cavalry. How many do I have? 24. One more. One more, and that will give me cavalry to infantry ratio plus 50%. Excellent. 25 cavalry. How many do I have? I have got 25 cavalry. I'll get another one then. I'll get 26. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so yearly army tradition movement speed. All that good stuff. So if we check our modifiers now, the cavalry for infantry ratio is plus 75% and combat ability is plus 30%. That's pretty good. So this one is now an effective fighting force. And the great cavalry increased it to 50%. So eight barracks. Okay. So this is our new fangled cavalry army. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> exactly how I'd hoped it'd be. Right, push into the steps. We gain provinces because money because it's good. Gain more manpower. Jesus, it's a lot. Okay, so now we just need to establish a grand cavalry, and we're so close to getting the holy order thing. Have at least 50 cavalry. Let's finish up this war. We'll get going. But I don't want I want to get it done because I've been recording for many hours now. <laughs> All up to Novgorod. Right, and let's take a look at these final requirements then. So, we need to have at least 10 a month. Just need to increase it by 2. I can do that easy. Cavalry fraction is 50. We need basically 50,000 cavalry. Gonna get expensive. Okay, we're gonna go. I'm gonna make a save here because we're gonna go way over our limit here. We might just tank our economy. Well, we're going to tank our economy because I want to get the Crusader horde thing. Bye, money. I knew you well. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Establish great cavalry. Crusaders of the steppes. There it is. 
Right, Holy Horde. Whilst others focus their, while other orders focus their efforts in conquering the Holy Land, our order took a different path. Inspired by the brutal conqueror Genghis Khan and driven by a holy mission to convert the infidels, our state expanded more and more into the Far Eastern steppes. By now, a normal administration is almost impossible were it not for the most important tool our order, the horse. Without even noticing it, we've become what once threatened the Christendom. A horde stretching from the cold waters of the Baltics all the way to the hot deserts of Central Asia. However, our expansion direction is clear. We go further east as the Lord wishes it from us. So that gives us, um, and the empire rank, it gives us the ability to raise provinces. It allows the horde idea group. Uh, it gives us mystery strength, movement speed, cavalry cost. Oh, it's gorgeous. So we're an empire now. Excellent. I tell you what, we didn't even bankrupt ourselves. All right, let's get rid of uh, a lot of these cavalry. But to be fair, why get rid of the uh, cavalry when we actually have 100% cavalry infantry? So let's get rid of the, uh, the infantry. All right, that's basically it. We have damn near 100% cavalry. And we didn't even have to go bankrupt for it. That is within 100 years. I'm I'm genuinely a little bit impressed by that. I mean, we can kind of afford it. Yeah, we can afford it. Okay, wow. Look at that. Right, lads. Well, I'm very, very tempted to make a part two of this. I'm very pe tempted to uh, to see what the uh, the Teutonic Horde can do now that we are, in fact, a Holy Horde. What can we do? I, I reckon we go after the Ottomans. Uh, that's going to be very, very tricky considering they have a lot of troops uh, indeed. But, I mean, hey, what else are we going to do when we've got... Uh, the ability to raise provinces. We'd probably uh, march on the Timurids next. Uh, maybe march our way through into uh, Europe and crush the uh, Protestant Reformation. It'd be a lot of fun. So if that's something you want to see, make sure to like and subscribe. If I hit a certain amount of likes, I don't know what that is. But if I do, it'll push the, uh, the uh, video out to more people. And then I'll make sure to make a second one. So that was easily my longest ever recording. Uh, <laughs> so I do hope you enjoy the effort uh, put into that one. And hopefully you enjoyed, and if so, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably, Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.